Hi, my name is Stephanie, and I'm so glad you joined me today. Let's start by singing about God's love for us and others. Job singing. Today we're looking at something the Apostle Paul wrote that's an important part of friendship. Paul was also known as Saul. He's the same person who we talked about in our story last week. We're going to look at Paul's letter to the Colossians, which is part of the Bible today. Paul had heard that some people among the Colossians were saying things that weren't true about who Jesus is and what it meant to follow him. Even though Paul was under house arrest at the time, he wrote a letter to make sure the Colossians remembered what was really true. In Paul's letter, he explained to the people that it's only through following Jesus that we can live a life that pleases God. This is what Paul wrote in Colossians 3.13. Put up with one another. Forgive one another if you are holding something against someone. Forgive, just as the Lord forgave you. Wow, that's a really important idea. What was that first part again? Put up with one another. What do you think that means? Put up with one another? It means that you still treat your friend with kindness, even if you're not getting along with them, or even if you don't agree with them. Paul then wrote, forgive one another if you are holding something against someone. Forgive, just as the Lord forgave you. Paul knew that an important part of friendship is forgiveness. You see, unfortunately, there are times when friends hurt each other's feelings. There are times when friends argue or disagree. When that happens, God can help us forgive each other instead of holding on to our anger and frustration. If we don't forgive our friends, it can feel so heavy and awful inside. It feels like we're carrying around a heavy weight. Let's say you and I got into an argument about something like, I said my favorite show is Daniel Tiger and you said your favorite is Bluey. Maybe I said I didn't like Bluey and I accidentally hurt your feelings. But instead of forgiving me, you just held on to the hurt. It would feel kind of like carrying around a heavy weight. Think about it this way. Maybe you're mad 
because things didn't go your way when your friend's playing with someone else at school. Or another thing, maybe you get frustrated because your brother forgot to clean up his mess in the living room and then you and your brother both got in trouble for it. Or maybe a friend borrows something that belongs to you and breaks it. Later the friend says they're sorry, but you're mad and you don't wanna forgive them. If you carried all of that around, it would feel like lots of heavy weights. Well, guess what? We don't have to carry around our hurt and our frustration. God has given a way to let go of whatever we're holding against our friends or anyone else. We can choose to forgive. Remember, Paul said, forgive just as the Lord forgave you. We know what it feels like to be forgiven because God has forgiven us. God sent Jesus to be our savior and Jesus gave up his life on the cross to pay the price for our sins, for the things we've done wrong. As Paul explained in another one of his letters, here is how God has shown his love for us. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. We have the perfect example of forgiveness because of Jesus. God showed us what it means to forgive. We don't need to demand that someone else has to get it right before we choose to forgive them. We don't have to wait for them to say they're sorry. We can just choose to let it go. We don't have to carry around our hurt and our anger. We can choose to let go and forgive our friends. Let's remember what Paul wrote. Put up with one another. Forgive one another if you are holding something against someone. Forgive just as the Lord forgave you. Disagreements and hurt feelings are part of life. They can happen in any friendship. We can only live in true peace and friendship with others when we make the choice to forgive. Remember our bottom line today. Friends forgive one another. Let's pray and ask God to help us forgive. Dear God, thank you for reminding us today that we need to forgive each other. Thank you for sending Jesus and making a way for us to be forgiven. The next time we feel hurt or frustrated, please help us remember not to carry those feelings inside. Give us the courage to forgive our friends and let it go. We love you and we pray these things in Jesus' name, amen. Thanks for joining me today as we learn that we are designed to be friends with God and with each other. Be sure to have your family head to our website at crosspointweb.org family for information on how to sign up for the Parent Q app. The app gives you many different ideas to connect with the story, along with ways to connect as a family. And don't forget to have your family subscribe to Crosspoint's YouTube channel. Be sure to hit that subscribe button too. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye-bye now.